Hi guys, in today's video I would like to show you this text-to-speech application that I've made entirely in Java. It's a simple server application that listens on a port and uh, it waits for a string to be received. Then when the string is received, it closes the connection, uh, the application speaks and it opens uh, TCP uh, server socket again. Uh, and it, it listens, so uh, it works uh, in a loop. Uh, it's a quite simple protocol. And uh, for this application, I've used uh, this free text-to-speech uh, jar library. It can be found uh, on this uh, website, so it can be downloaded from here. Or you can use this direct link to download it. And let me demonstrate how it works. It currently runs on a computer right behind me on a Linux machine. And uh, I'm going to use this uh, client code example to demonstrate uh, how to send a string to it and make it, make it speak. So let me first now copy a string, then run this client application. So as you can hear, it reminds me a uh, voice of uh, Stephen Hawking's computer. It sounds like a Stephen Hawking's computer. And uh, for this uh, application, I've also made uh, this text-to-speech client application on Android. So let me just tap on this. So as you can see, this implementation of this client code over here, I have reused uh, for uh, an Android application. So it's as simple as that. And uh, this application, this text-to-speech uh, is available on my GitHub under uh, releases. So it's just a nine megabyte application. And uh, I've made this uh, as a standalone simple application because other applications can send a string to it and it uh, speaks. So. It's uh, simple, uh, it can be used uh, by anyone or any application and as I demonstrated, uh, I can send, send any string over uh, a local area network. Let me show you that uh, this uh, Java application is quite simple. It consists only of four uh, Java classes. This first one is a graphical user interface. Uh, where uh, it loads a port from this port.txt file and uh, it uses this class for it and uh, if uh, there is no such file it creates one with the default port and uh, as one of the last uh, few steps it loads an icon and starts a text-to-speech server and uh, when the application is closed, uh, the text-to-speech server is also stopped because it runs on a separate thread. And uh, this text-to-speech uh, server uh, thread, uh, it opens a TCP uh, server socket and uh, listens for a string to be received. And uh, if it is received, uh, then uh, the application speaks and it uses this speech utils class for it and uh, this uh, server uh, runs in a loop so once it receives a string it uh, closes uh, the connection and 
then it tries to speak, uh, speak and then it opens uh, the port uh, again and listens over again and uh, the magic is happening over here in this speech utils in this class and uh, this class uses uh, this one uh, free text-to-speech uh, jar library for it and uh, this is the essential code for it so that's all that's, that's how it works and uh, if you are interested uh, you can try to uh, learn from this code or you can download this jar file straight away and use it uh, as you can see you can make an android app or any other application that will send a string uh, to this uh, java text-to-speech application and uh, use it for your own purposes so i will use this uh, also for my speech recognition AI, so it will be able to call another applications and they will talk back to me. So it's a really useful application from my point of view. And uh, that's all for today. I hope uh, you will find this useful and I hope uh, you've learned something. So until next time, see you. Bye.